Okay, so let's see how to make a NAND gate. So first here we can see this is the equation of the NAND gate, which is A and B whole bar, which is the negation of A and B. So this over here we can see is the diagram for the NAND gate, where we have A and B in parallel for the PDN, the pull down network and A and B in series for the pull up network. And there is the output in between them VDD above and ground below. So first what we will do is we will make a stick diagram for this so that we will uh, we can know how to make it in the microwave. So for the stick diagram we will make take two sticks. The green one we can see over here is the uh, NMOS and the PMOS is the red one above. So here as we can see the source for the A. So the PMOS has the source above and drain below. So this is the source, this is the source and this is the drain and for the NMOS it is the exact opposite. So there is the drain is above and the source is below. Drain and source. So according to the connections in this we can connect the uh, connections in the stick diagram. So the source of both of them are connected. So we connected those together and connected that to the VDD. And the drains are also shorted because they are next to each other and then which that thing goes to the V out. And the same with the pull down network. The source of the B is connected to VSS and the source and drain are shorted together and the drain is connected to the output. So now as we have this diagram we can refer this and draw our like uh, draw this in the micro wind so first what we will do first we'll have to draw a n well so for the n well we'll take the dimensions 16 by 32 as we need six gap each side Then this will have a P diffusion of 4 by 20. 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 4 by 20 P diffusion. This will have metal contacts of 4 by 4. So now since we are going to draw the polysilicon uh, which will be connected to both of them we will draw it after we draw the NMOS as well. So now for the NMOS the end diffusion of the similar dimensions 1. We are drawing the NMOS to be 20 by 4 since we need uh, two metal plates on this. Okay, and every metal plate we have to place a contact as we have seen in a previous video and the contacts should be of 2 by 2 so now as we have all the contacts we can zoom out a bit and now let's draw the poly so 1 2 and 3 Okay, so this is the polysilicon and now let's see what else connections we had over there. So we also have to connect the source of PMOS A and B. 
so we can do that using metal so when connect making connections with metal the minimum width should be 3 at least So this is also done and then we can see we also have to connect the drain of A in the NMOS and the drain of A and B in the PMOS to the outlet. So let's do that as well. So as we can see over here the metal is crossing the polysilicon so it, it is showing in pink color but that does not make a connection. So we don't have to worry about that. If you want to connect the metal to the polysilicon you have to put a contact on that. So now let's place all the uh, grounds and other our inputs and outputs. So first as we know the NVAL needs its own VDD. Then there is a VDD connected to the source of PMOS there is a ground over here which we can see is the source of NMOS and the input let's give a clock to both of them so over here we can give clock one let's call this A and let's give another clock to this which we can which we can call B and output for the output we'll have to take it over here. Let's call this output. So now all the, as all the connections are done, we'll try to simulate this. So now as this is a NAND gate and we know that a NAND gate is uh, 0 only if both the inputs are 1 and it is 1 otherwise. So that can be seen reflected in this waveform. As we can see when A is 1 and B is 0, NAND output is 1 and similar for this when A is 0 and B is 1. And only when B is also 1 and A is also 1, the NAND gate is 0. So as we can see we have created a NAND gate using microwind